Hey everybody, Justin Siener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to integrate appointment bookings into your Shopify store. It's gonna be super powerful, it's gonna be super easy, and we're gonna jump right into it. When you could add appointments into your Shopify store, you're gonna be able to increase your revenue. That's the whole point of this video. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. We'll go over the shoulder in the second half of this video, but this is really all about adding extra functionality into your Shopify store. And we're talking about the ability to sell appointments and services that would be booked, right? Literally a calendar, think of something like that where someone can book an appointment, book some type of event, book some type of reserv uh, reservation time, and there's a lot of flexibility in this, but it's the idea of selling these appointments inside of your existing Shopify store. And you can combine your physical products or your existing digital products with services and appointment bookings all in the same store, all at the same time. It's incredibly powerful because we're simply extending the functionality of our existing brand, but it's obviously not about just adding functionality. The whole idea here is that by allowing appointments on your Shopify store, you can quickly create new revenue streams for your business. Again, this is all about the bottom line. We're gonna be able to have our existing products and now we're gonna be able to sell appointment bookings as well. But there are some pain points that you might run into when you go ahead and implement this. Number one, there is no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. And I'm gonna show you exactly which one I use. The app needs to be easy to use, easy to set up, require no code and require no prior experience. We wanna get this installed ASAP. We wanna get this added on top of our existing store. And most importantly, we need the app to directly integrate with Shopify so customers can check out just like any other product. They could check out with a physical product and an appointment, right? They can combine different products in their cart. And that's gonna all work when things get directly integrated inside of Shopify. So how do you do this? You're gonna use the Appointo app. And this is what I use, this is what I recommend. You see the link directly below this video. It's a really awesome app. We're gonna go over the shoulder, I'm gonna show you more. And we'll break down exactly how to use Appointo, different examples, you'll see the entire back end. But again, you see the link directly below this video. It's gonna bring you right into the Shopify app store. And here's that app right over here. You see 4.9 out of five stars on over 180 reviews. The bottom line is the Appointo app is one of the best, if not the best choices when it comes to extending functionality and definitely the best option when you wanna add these really powerful appointment bookings. Again, this is not just about bells and whistles. We're gonna add an entire revenue stream when we extend the functionality of Shopify with this app. And it's incredibly powerful. We're gonna be able to do calendar bookings for one-to-one, -one, for group appointments, for rentals, for services, very flexible app. And the best thing is it's gonna automatically integrate with the store and with your customers in terms of the entire Shopify system. There'll be automated emails, text for reminders. You could do group appointments. You could integrate with calendars. You could integrate with Zoom. It's a really fully functional um, appointment booking uh, app and solution on top of Shopify, right? This isn't just a pared down kind of little hack to get things going. This is a fully uh, functional, uh, very deeply created and developed appointment booking app with the seamless calendar booking to make it as easy as possible for customers. And we'll walk through how to set this up and you'll be able to connect your Google and Outlook and literally have all these different options that are simply just products, right? They're literally just gonna be different products on your Shopify store that are gonna be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to configure it with the Pointo, have that ability to have a calendar or a booking um, you know, function attached to each of these products that we set. You see over here, product title, personal styling, product style, mini nail oasis, right? This is probably for a salon or something like that, right? So you could come over here, edit all these different types of ones, have as many services as you want. And they're just simply products, which means again, directly integrated into Shopify. That's one of the best parts and lots of workflows. So we could save time, we could automate things. You can get very, very specific with, uh, you know, kind of confirmations and reschedulings and um, different uh, kind of follow-ups and all of these great things that allow for a pointo to not only set up and be very easy to use, but also allow you to get very deep in terms of things like revenue generation and winbacks and you know really driving the interactions that we need to make this a serious and significant revenue stream for our business. Speaking of that, in terms of revenue stream, right, we're going to be able to see all the total revenue generated through a pointo and the bookings and the upcoming bookings. You see a nice little graph. This is the analytics dashboard that you'll get access to inside the app. And of course, you could bring your team together inside of the Appointo app. If you have multiple team members, you'll be able to do everything inside of Shopify POS as well. If you have in-person or if you combine an online store and an in-person brick and mortar, right, you use that point of sale system. Uh, this will work with that as well. 
literally they've thought of everything. Again, it's a highly developed, not just a little uh, kind of extra thing with Shopify. A Pointo could be a standalone appointment booking. It's just that now it integrates with Shopify using the point of sale of Shopify, supporting all of the themes that you're already gonna have. So your branding extends there, different pricing levels as well. But again, show you all of the positive reviews. We could look at five star after five star after five star review, 4.9 out of five on 180 plus reviews. So really, really powerful in terms of here. You take a look at the demo store, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and press the add app button. This is gonna install a Pointo into our store. As soon as you install the app, you'll be brought over here onto the onboarding and it's really simple. There's just three things that we need to do. We're gonna add a product into a Pointo. We're gonna add the appointment details and then I'm gonna show you exactly how the flow is gonna work. So we just need to go through here. We'll set up, you see that their support is always accessible down here in the uh, chat setup over here. So we do our time zone, we come over here, we could select a product that is going to be used here for our uh, appointment. And if you don't have one, you could just pick one just as an example. Um, a good thing to do would be to create a product at this point, and we'll do one just kind of as an example. So I'll come over here, I'll find my little test product, just in sample appointments. It's just a product that I have set up over here just for the demo sake. The point is that any product inside of your Shopify store can be turned in to an appointment here and we'll be able to attach it to a calendar. So you'll wanna create an appointment page and you can give different variant options like a 30 minute appointment, 60 minute appointment, or a monthly or a weekly, whatever your kind of different uh, variants would be. You could just customize it here in a normal, typical Shopify product page outside of the app. And then you're able to grab it here and any variants inside of the app as we're setting up. So we're gonna add that into our appointments. And now we're gonna have these different durations here. So these are basically called variants and they're gonna kind of match up with, you know, what options customers will have, but they'll have a little bit more specific in terms of how they're going to kind of plug in to the calendar and interact with other appointments. So I put over here duration to be 30 minutes, right? We could have different types of calendar variants and different type of product variants. We have over here in terms of how often can they schedule? And we could put something like this every hour. So basically you can't have back to back to back. You could change it to be zero or 30 minutes. You could change it to be even longer depending on how long the gaps you wanna be in between your calls, right? If they're 30 minute calls, you could put one hour in between or you could even go down to 30 minutes. Start available times, right? We can go again, something like this where we can go at least 30 minutes in terms of when they can start, right? So they can't book at like uh, 3.15, it would be three or 3.30 or four. You could change that over here. You have meeting details. We're just putting that we're gonna call them. You could have a little note over here as well, thanking them for the booking, letting them know you're looking forward to it. Again, you have your time zone pulled in automatically from your settings. And now we actually have the available hours. And we can come in over here and let's say we uh, wanted to have Sunday and Saturday off, as you see here, we could set a nine to five, or we could just do it individually, right? Maybe we have more availability in the morning on uh, Tuesday, and then for Thursday, we just do nights, right? We have full control over how we want this to be set up. Just change a couple settings here. If you didn't want to have any day available on Friday, you could just simply delete it. If you want to bring it back, you just press the plus on there. So we'll go with a Monday to Thursday calendar over here in terms of availability with some kind of specifics in terms of different hours. You could even do uh, something like this where you can copy your hours over if you're just going to do a straight nine to five or something like that. Go into the next step here again, very simplistic. We don't really need to do much and we're kind of already done. We're going to be able to test and uh, this is really all about kind of the purchase flow in terms of how the customer will be interacting. But I'm gonna really walk you through exactly what you need to know. Do again wanna call out great support down here. You could also book a free call with their team and go through the help docs over here in terms of figuring out all the different ways to use a point though. But again, I'm gonna show you now that we've set up a calendar, or I'm sorry, an appointment booking setup. We're gonna actually be able to show it uh, from the customer's point of view. Uh, but there are a few more things that I want to show you over here on the uh, app side of things as we're in our back end. This is going to be the appointments settings, uh, the appointment setup over here. We'll come back to the home for a second. So we could see our sample appointment. That's the product that I had. And we can continue to add products over here. Once we have more product or different products, let's say we wanted to have different types of appointment bookings or we wanted to have very specific bookings for... Uh, I don't know if you're a salon, something like nails or makeup or hair, you have different products, right? They could be multiple products. Again, really just right inside of products over here. You can even duplicate your existing product. As long as you just keep adding products with the variant, uh, different variants, you'll be able to hook them up right into the calendar over here. So you could add an unlimited amount of products, unlimited amount of uh, appointments here, depending on what plan that you're on. You could always turn off or disable 
this for temporarily. If you didn't want to have it, you could delete it permanently. We can come back over here. This is going to show us that kind of ability for us to do uh, what we wanted to do earlier, which was set up our variants. And the important thing is you're going to remember that we set up one variant when we got going. We need to come over here and I'll close this one just to show it a little bit easier. Our 60 minute variant, right? That's attached and we're going to come over here. In this case, obviously, this is going to be uh, one hour right down there. And we'll have this make sure that we save this over here. So now we have our two variants set up. It's important that we change the, uh, you know, the setup for both if you're having multiple variants. If you just have one variant, you only need to set it up once. So we've got that in here. Again, we can disable it. Obviously, we can enable it right back there if we wanted to turn it off or something like that. So I'll show you that on the live site in a little bit. Bookings, you know, you can guess what this is going to be. These would be confirmed appointments that people have booked and, of course, paid for. You could also add a manual booking, which I think is pretty cool over here. If you take sales in person over the phone or email, right, you could add in manual booking right on the same product and the customer will be able to have kind of the same experience that they would if they would have uh, kind of booked it up there. This is upcoming. This is past. Subscription is cool. This is something new that they've added in to basically have recurring payment subscriptions. So you could say something like, um, you know, one personal training session a month. They get billed every month. Take a look at conflicts in terms of uh, scheduling conflicts, but hopefully those don't occur if you just set up your calendar the right way. Uh, you could export these as well into CSV or Excel or something like that if you wanted to manage it there. Coming over here into the calendar, this is going to correspond to really kind of, first of all, what bookings you have, but also what availability you've been uh, kind of showing on different days. We could take a look at different days in the future and see what would be on here. Obviously, we don't have any because we just kind of built it. Here's our analytics over here. You're going to be able to see total revenue and also total bookings in the past, upcoming, and just total in general. See some nice graphs in terms of hopefully seeing those numbers go up, not only in terms of booking, but really most importantly, that revenue. You could always change your plan over here and jumping into the premium plan or the enterprise plan. Really going to give you the ability to not only have some extra features and workflows, which are really popular, but the ability to have great customer support uh, over here, a one hour onboarding session, really valuable there because the team does a great job over there. Here you could add your team members over here. This is kind of specific to a paid plan to get on here and subscriptions as well. We could activate subscriptions. We could manage subscriptions in terms of things like those recurrings. But now that we have this kind of all set up and the idea in terms of what you're going to be really doing on a daily basis is coming into here and looking at our calendar settings, right? Looking at our bookings, right? Being able to kind of see what's upcoming and having everything really kind of front and center in terms of seeing your entire business on the appointment side of things. Again, this is not just a way to sell, but also manage all of your appointments. And you could even use this with your point of sale system if you have an in, uh, you know, an in-person store. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at the store now. And uh, we'll bring up this uh, exact product and I'll show you how it's gonna look. So you see here's our product page, sample appointment, and we have two variants, $30 or $60. And you see the add to cart button has been removed, right? It, this happens automatically. You don't need to do any code or anything like that. That's the power of the Appointo app. And I added this image over here, right? This is just uh, what I just kind of use as the product image. You'd of course have you know, a product of your service, but this is just a sample here. You're going to click or the customer is going to click schedule your time, right? And this all happens automatically, right? You don't need to code this. This just comes up, right? You, you didn't miss any steps. I showed you the exact process to get this up here. You see our Monday to Thursday calendar. So we can come over here. You see our timing that we did. Remember we said Thursday we'll do night. Okay. We have all these different options over here. We'll select that right here and add to cart. Right, add to cart just like any other product. Okay, and I had something else in the uh, cart over here. Just like any other product, we see our sample appointment, we see the notes about it. 30 minutes, there's the time, here's the date, etc., etc. I will come over to this cat shirt, I will press add to cart. We'll now go to the cart. You'll see that we have the cat shirt with that details, and we'll have our appointment over here with these details. And we'd simply check out just like any other order. And once that gets sent out, You'll have the ability to customize everything, of course, depending on what plan you're on. But you'll see that appointment setting show up over here in terms of booking. You'll get paid just like any other product. In fact, in this case, if they check out in, in this example, you'd get paid for a physical product and for an appointment in the same order all through Shopify. That is the power of Appointo right there. So that was Appointo. And again, getting appointment bookings and allowing this into your store, super powerful and super easy, as you saw in the video. And I've just enabled an entirely new revenue stream for my business in really just a matter of minutes. 
and the sky's the limit in terms of what you can offer there. You can fully customize this entire setup to fit whatever you want to offer in terms of your appointments. And you should always stay up to date with Appointo site. They have a great blog that kind of talks about best uses for appointment bookings and e-commerce and things like that. So highly recommend it to check that out. But really, you see the link again directly below this video. You want to get this in your store, add in this extra revenue stream. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps you make some money.